Okay, so today I'm going to give you a little demonstration of um, adding some details to a watercolour. The watercolour I'm using is my attempt to copy a Turner, JMW Turner um, watercolour of Venice. Um, obviously my skills don't stretch to Turner's level, so I can't really call it a copy, it's more, it's, it's after the work of Turner. So the composition is uh, essentially his. Uh, but the detail that I'm adding are just from imagination and from memory of my time painting in Venice. Okay then, so here we are with this view um, in, in the manner of a Turner. It was my attempt to copy a, a, to one of Turner's late watercolours of Venice. The, um, the dome in the middle there is Santa Maria della Salute, which is near the Dagana, and that's what that dark wall-like structure is next to it, in front of it. And then to the right we've got the tower, which is the Campanile in St Mark's Square in Venice. And of course the Campanile is um, its the only vertical tower in Venice, and all, all the others are leaning over at strange angles because that's how early Italian architects used to build them. Um, of course, there's a lot of mud and stuff underneath Venice. It's not, nothing's terribly secure. Anyway, so you can see what I've done. I've started to put in um, in the foreground there, right, quite near the corner, uh, another a gondolier, and I'll put I'll put the uh, the gondolier in the working working the boat going towards the people on the right, who I think are on a like a mud flat or a sandbank. Um, not quite sure what they're doing, so we'll have to try and resolve that, make it look a bit more, a bit clearer. So just put the gondolier in there with his pole. And uh, I'm doing these from, I've painted in Venice a few times, and so um, I can do a lot of this from what I've painted before, um, and, and imagination and memory. Just gonna darken underneath the gondolier here, give, give it a bit of a shadow. Um, as we're on the, uh, away from the light source, which is, of course, over in the distance. On the left, I think, where it's the lightest, and it's obviously a setting sun, it's an afternoon sunset, and uh, so we've got a bit of a um, shadow area there, and the water is quite dark there, and that'll keep, that'll um, just finish off that corner quite nicely. I don't want the boat to be too dark, otherwise it'll take the eye and leave it there. I want the eye to wander up the that channel of light blue water towards the dome of um, Santa Maria. And um, so, um, as you know, of course, watercolour always dries lighter than you put it on, so uh, hopefully it'll, it'll lighten a little bit and that'll be just right. It won't take the eye away from the focal point, which is the Santa Maria de la Salut dome. Okay, so I'll, leave, I'll just let that carry on a bit, just darken that, and then I'll go across to the other side and start putting some detail in the figures there. I never like too much detail, but we just need to resolve the questions where you think, what are these people doing? Are they walking on water? Or is it a mud bank? It's not terribly clear in Turner's painting, um, but of course it's so nice to paint with, uh, loosely. And um, he obviously knew what was in front of him, but he's um, he made it his own. And I've done the same here with this. So just I'm just darkening that boat a little because I know it'll still lighten as it dries. It's a bit too dark at the moment, so. Um, but I think it'll dry about right. And then I'll, uh, then I'll go across the other side and see what's happening over there. I've, um, this video is about seven and a half minutes long. It was um, nearly 14. Um, so I've cut out quite a lot of the mixing. Um, I mean, I like to show the palette and the colors I use. Um, Now you can see I'm just thinking about the other corner now. Let's try and resolve that corner. 
I'm going to put another little um, gondola or two in there. Almost a hint at the shape. There, they are. Now that's too dark at the moment. So we'll just dab that out with a bit of kitchen roll. We don't, again, we don't want it to take all the attention away from the distance, which I think is the, uh, because the sky and the, and the distant horizon are, are, are quite interesting, aren't they? Yeah. If I remember rightly, this is, I'm, where I am is near the Gedeka, which is across the water, the stretch of water from the Santa Maria de la Salute, which on itself is on the end, a pointy end of one of the main islands. Um, and the Grand Canal is just the other side of Santa Maria de la Salute, which goes through the heart of the city. Beautiful place to paint. I could happily go there and paint every week of the year and never tire of the subject. There, you, you see how I've just softened that a little bit, that shape, and the colour density and that. When, my, when I move my hand out of the way, you'll see slightly clearer. The last thing I do before I, before I assess whether it's complete or not is to put a, a mount around it, a white mount, and I'll do that shortly. But um, there we are, just some more, little other gondola in the middle. Okay, so we've got a mount around it. Let's just see, let's put this on here. Let's just see how it looks. Don't be frightened to experiment, you might find there's a better picture there. Or there. But no, I like I like the sky. Every painting needs a quiet area as well as a busy area. You don't want it all to be busy, you don't want it all to be quiet. 